Okay, so I'm going to show you how to remove an element from an array. And to help me do that, I'm going to use the Java Code Visualizer from CS Circles at the University of Waterloo. Okay, so I have some code here on the left uh, that I've written. So I have, I'm going to start with an array called my numbers that can store 10 integers. And initially, each element in this array is zero. So when I click forward here, it's going to execute the yellow line of code. Okay, you can see over here that the code visualizer is showing me that I have an array with elements 0 to 9, and each element is 0 in it. As I execute each line of code, you can see that the array is getting filled uh, with the numbers that I'm setting here. So you might have an array from somewhere else that the users added numbers, or you were given an array some numbers in it. I'm just using this as an example. So I'm adding five numbers to my array. So after I've executed lines 7 through 11, you can see my array has changed and that the first five elements have been set. Um, we also need a variable here to keep track of the logical size of the array. So the logical size is the number of elements that are being used. Okay, so with the physical size, my array can store 10 elements, but the logical size is how many of those are currently being used. So my logical size is five, because I've added five numbers into the array. Okay. Um, if I were doing this interactively with the user, every time I added an element to the array, I would increase logical size by one. And after we remove an element, we're going to decrease logical size by one. Um, so the next variable we have is the target. Uh, so that's the element we wish to remove. That, so the index that I'm going to try and remove from this array is the index 2. So I'm going to try and get 15 out of this array. And again, you might do that from the user, or you might get that value from searching through your array to find the element you're trying to remove. So here's the magic for loop that starts at the target. So I have int i equal to target. Uh, so that's going to be 2. And loops from loops until the i value is the same as the logical size minus 1. So I want to start at 2 and then stop when i gets to 4. Okay, and I'm going up by 1 each time. And each time this loop runs, I take my number at i and shift i plus 1 into it. So let's have a look at how this executes over here. So my target's 2, i is 2, so it's the same as the target, so I'm looking at this element here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is copy my numbers at i plus 1, so my number's at 3, this value here, into my number's at 2, this value here. So I'm essentially overriding it with the next value in the array. So there it goes, 2's been copied into element 2 and I increment i. So i is going to go up to 3. Uh, my test still passes. 3 is less than the logical size minus 1. 3 is less than 4, so that's true. So the loop goes again, and I do the same thing. I copy element 4 into element 3. There it goes. And then i gets incremented. Now i is 4. 4 is not less than 4. So my test fails, and the loop stops. So what I've done here after my loop is reset um, the array, the last element in the array, to zero, just to overwrite it. This is an optional step. You don't really need to do it, but I'm doing here just to show that the element has been removed. And then finally, this step's important too. I decrease the logical size of the array. So I'm now saying that I'm only using four of the elements in my size 10 array. And that's it. So that's how you remove an element from an array in Java.